Today on Fire 180, we're going to be discussing our evangelism toolbox and how we can be a resource for your church's rebuilding. We'll be providing tools for you and your church to be like the seed sower in Matthew's Gospel. You don't need to be a Bible scholar or an expert in the faith. We're going to show you how simple it can be. Welcome to Fire 180, where we discuss faith and reason. We connect hearts and minds and change attitudes 180 degrees. Today, we're going to be discussing practical ways in how to share your Christian faith, and you'll learn that it's a lot easier than you thought for both you and your church. In addition, our team at Fire 180 has assembled an extensive menu that you can use to share with your friends and family or in your church's rebuilding efforts at no charge. And, like a buffet, you can pick and choose as much or as little as you like of whatever it is that you think will work best. I know we often hear a lot about the new evangelization or to go and make disciples, but most people's response is, okay, how? Also, they are given very little, if any, impractical tips or ways for the average person to use. But before we look at what's on our buffet, I want to share a few thoughts. We all have friends and loved ones who have left the church and we're looking for ways to bring them back. Also, most churches are looking for solutions, especially post-COVID for renewal, especially in ways to inspire our youth. Sadly, most Christians, especially Catholics it seems, have no clue in where to start when trying to explain why they believe in Christianity. Most often just saying, because I have faith. Well. With that kind of answer, is it any wonder why so many of our young people have lost their faith? Seriously, they are a generation that want their beliefs in everything to be based on rational thinking, on truth and reason. Think about it. How many would have followed Jesus to their death if it wasn't for the evidence and his miracles? Well, our guess would be zero. I mentioned this in a previous video. Would a lawyer ask a jury to believe their client to be innocent simply on faith with no evidence, just because their client said so? So therefore, the jury should also believe him too, just on faith. Of course not. You know, we all know it's laughable because we know that they would need to provide convincing evidence and plenty of it. And like defense attorneys, St. Peter tells us to always be prepared to give a defense for our faith. So the question is for you and for me. Are we prepared to give a reasonable answer or defense for our faith? Numerous studies have proven that the number one reason why people have walked away from the church is disbelief. The secular world says that believing in the church is compared to believing in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy. But Christianity at its roots is a religion that is based on faith and reason. St. Augustine in the 4th century said it best about the need for providing evidence in supporting one's faith. He said, quote, I wouldn't be a Christian if it were not for the miracles, close quote. At FAR 180, we provide sound arguments of evidence for God and Christianity that are meant to plant seeds in the minds of skeptics and to be artillery for believers to defend their faith. But before I get into our toolbox, of artillery or resources, I think it's really important that we first look at what Jesus says about setting our evangelism expectations, comparing it to gardening and planting seeds in his parable of the seed sower in Matthew's gospel. Where a farmer, while sowing his seed, some seeds fell along a path and birds came and ate it up. Some seeds fell on rocky places where it didn't have enough soil, so when the sun came out, the plants were scorched. Another seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked the plants, but some fell on good soil where it produced a crop 30, 60, or 100 times. You know, I think that Jesus is talking to both you and to me to help us understand and accept that not everyone's mind is going to be the good soil. We don't need to beat ourselves up if some family or friends don't want to listen. Jesus told us that some people are going to be the rocky, thorny, and beaten ground, and we all know some of them. The good news is that it's not our job to convert anyone. That's the Holy Spirit's job. It's only our job to spread some seeds and do some gardening. It's then up to him to work on the good soil. So let's dive into our FAR 180 seed poacher toolbox. 
First, we have a one-page PDF introduction of what is FAR 180, why it's so important, and who it's for, as well as a list of resources that we're going to be discussing today. We have put together one of the most diverse lists of resources, or what we call FAR 180 seeds, outlining evidence for God and Christianity that we know of, most of which are free. First, we have downloadable PDFs, which can be emailed to your church email distribution list or printed as a handout in your bulletin as a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly handout. Topics such as four PDFs on science that has science discovered God. Next, Darwin's theory debunked. Most, if not all, of the most renowned scientists today compare the 19th century Darwinian theory of human evolution to the flat earth theory or the sun rotating around the earth, and they explain why. Next is archaeology. Over the past 50 to 100 years, excavations have proven that the Bible is a historical document and not a Marvel comic book. Next, can we trust the authenticity of the New Testament? How do we know that it is what the original authors wrote? Next, it's prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. Future predictions which were made hundreds of years before he was even born. Also, what evidence is there outside of the Bible that Jesus even ever existed? And what evidence is there for the resurrection? What could possibly make serious people believe such a thing? Next, where does moral law come from? Who decides what's right or wrong, good or evil? Lastly, the Shroud of Turin. What evidence is there to suggest that it really is the burial cloth of Jesus, or is it a medieval forgery? All of the mentioned PDFs are also available in our 16-page PDF magazine called Faith and Reason, Evidence for God and Christianity. These are all available for free under resources at far180.com. And if you really want to dive deeper into any of the topics, we have a complete list of sources and links to the most scholarly sources on each subject that you will find. Also available in hard copy is the 16-page Faith and Reason magazine, which can be ordered in bulk at the printing cost which thousands of copies have been distributed around the Maritimes by churches and especially at Christmas and Easter services. Next is our Time, Talent and Treasure Suggestion PDF and supporting video. Many Christians are looking for ways to give back and to share their gifts but are not sure how. We have assembled the most extensive list of suggestions that you will find anywhere. Simply go to far180.com under resources, click on downloadable PDFs and then on Faith in action, how you can share your time, talent, and treasure. Next, our most recent piece of artillery for believers to defend their faith is our one-page PDF called Bunker Busters, under resources. Bunker Busters is a term to describe bombs that are designed to penetrate hardened targets, such as bunkers, but in our case, our targets are hardened mines. These bunker busters are seeds that, in our opinion, are the most impactful statements about evidence for God and Christianity, and we've taken the key points from each of the exhibits of evidence and have them on one page for you to share. These are designed to penetrate even the toughest noggin, and then we leave the rest to the Holy Spirit. Next is our Far 180 YouTube channel. All of the mentioned PDF handouts have a supporting YouTube video which goes hand in hand with the next tool in our toolbox. A complete faith formation program, videos with supporting PDF handouts, and a small group participant guide which is also found under resources. And you can download the full participants guide for free. These can be used by a church as a weekly or a bi-weekly faith formation initiative for youth groups or for small groups whose goal is to become closer to Christ. Like other faith-based video discussion programs, you simply watch one of the subject videos and everyone has a participant's guide with questions to encourage group discussion on all of the topics previously mentioned. Everything is provided for you, the links, the downloads, absolutely free. Next, we are really excited to introduce our new FAR 180 Event Center with banners which can be used at various events. These banners are full of visual cues presenting evidence for God and Christianity that are designed to encourage discussions and questions. We also provide handouts including our Bunker Buster page and our What is FAR 180, Why it's Important, and Who is For. We welcome events of all types, whether it's a seasonal event, fall fair, church breakfast or supper, a men's, women's, or youth event of any kind. We will entertain all types of gatherings. Anywhere that we can go to set up our 
Fire 180 Event Center to plant seeds and to provide tools for others. So if you are around Nova Scotia and would like someone on our Fire 180 team to attend your event, simply contact us at fire180.com. The next tool in our toolbox is live presentations by our Fire 180 team members. We have presentations for both adults and teens, small or large groups, that we can customize the talk from 30 to 45 minutes or to several in-depth presentations on evidence for God and Christianity in a variety of settings. Once, I was even asked by the Franciscans in Halifax to speak at an event called Theology on Tap. They would get together once a month at a tavern and reserve several tables and have a guest speaker to chat about theology while they were enjoying a cold one. The response to these talks has been overwhelming and humbling, especially when I speak to young people. They are looking for validation for their faith and for ways to share their Christianity with others. Also at Fire180.com, we are blessed to have very talented writers that contribute to our blog section, which is a variety of short essays, very easy reads from our team members, which I guarantee will teach, inspire, and entertain you and get you thinking about things in a way that you've never considered. Combine all of this with photography of God's natural wonders, his fingerprints left behind. And we have a vast collection of photography, particularly on Nova Scotia, by our gifted team members. And finally, testimonies of some of the feedback that we've received. If we want others to listen to the message that there is a God, a creator, who loves us, and his son Jesus died for each one of us so that we don't have to and that we don't need to carry our burdens alone and that he wants us to get to know him and to love him well if we want others to listen to that message then we had better start doing some gardening our dream at fire 180 is to be a one-stop resource for you to share that god and christianity are true and that when spreading the word you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself like it all depends on you because the pressure is not on us it's on him. You don't need to be a Bible scholar or an expert in the faith. You just need to be able to throw a few seeds or land a few bunker busters. But remember, some seeds are going to fall on the rocky, thorny, sun-scorched soil. But some will land on fertile mines, which will produce a crop 30, 60, or 100 times. So when anyone ever asks you, why are you a Christian? The answer is simple, because it's true. If you've enjoyed today's video and would like more people to see it, with YouTube's algorithms, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button below and share the video and leave a comment and more people will see it. Thank you very much and God bless.